Welcome to my YouTube channel, Engineering Simple. Today I would like to talk briefly about transformer stabilizing winding, which is also known as barrier delta. The most common posed question is, do we have to have a delta stabilizing winding for YY transformers? Outside the United States, Y connection is referred to as star. I just wanted to uh, make a quick comment. IEEE guide for the application of tertiary and stabilizing winding in power transformers uh, C57.158-2017. It kind of clarifies the difference between a stabilizing winding and a tertiary winding. A stabilizing winding basically is used for uh, harmonic suppression. It's not the the bushings or the terminals are not brought out. The tertiary winding is used for supplying power like to station uh, station service at the substation. So the answer to the, the question above is it depends. For ungrounded Y, grounded Y, transforms the delta is required in order to balance the amp turns. For grounded Y, grounded Y transformers, sometimes the delta create, creates problems with system relay protection scheme. And I will talk about that more in future uh, videos. So the application for the YY transformer must be well understood by both the customer and the manufacturer to determine if the delta is required or not. Sometimes the delta is not required, but the manufacturer cannot perform quarter loss, voltage induced, or sound test and may request using a delta winding. If a delta winding is used, it must be sized properly. Sizing the delta as 30% of the main transformer MVA may be inadequate. Industry years ago we used to use the default was the stabilizing winding or the delta winding is sized at 30% of the main transformer MVA, which can which can be inadequate sometimes. To properly size the delta winding, system and equivalent T model impedances must be used. So system impedance basically positive, negative, and zero sequence impedances. So infinite bus assumption may lead to undersizing the delta winding. As you go far away from the from the power plants, system zero sequence impedance increases, and it can lead to higher higher currents that the delta winding has to handle. Thank you uh, for watching the video, and I hope you subscribe to YouTube to my YouTube channel, Engineering Simple. So stay tuned, and I'll post more videos on the on the stabilizing winding, possibly with examples. So again, my YouTube channel is Engineering Simple. If you have questions or would like to know more about this certain topic, please email me at Engineering Simple YT at gmail.com. Thank you and have a good day.